Now we are moving on to the topic mean. Okay, so what is mean? You all understand that mean is the central value of a data, right? That means the average value of a data. That means that suppose we have a few numbers and we are supposed to calculate the average of it. So what is that technical term for average? It is called the mean. So now there are different types of data and for all those kinds of data, we have different types of formulas to calculate mean. Now you guys have to understand the over here, I will only be telling you the names of the, of the methods and I will just be explaining you what those kinds of data are. And then to solve all these questions, what we will do is that we will follow to, to understand what these methods are, what we'll do is we'll follow a few questions and through those questions you will understand what these methods actually are. Okay, so first is mean of an ungrouped data. So to understand this, first of all, you need to understand what an ungrouped data is. Okay, so an ungrouped data is a data, is a raw kind of data which has no groups. That means that if I say that these are the heights of of uh, a certain students, of seven students. So the heights are 151 centimeters, 153 centimeters, 154, 156, 157, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 158, and 159. So what are these? These are the heights of uh, seven students, okay? So this is an ungrouped data. Okay, number of student number of students having uh, similar height is very less. This is they don't have similar height at all. But if say that this 156 would have been, this would have been 156. So now two students have height 156, but still this data is represented like this in ascending order. So first of all, what you guys have to remember is that this kind of data is an ungrouped data. Again. Second example I can tell you is uh, suppose that we have marks of 10 students or marks of 5 students as to say in uh, the subject mathematics out of 50. So marks of 50 students, sorry 5 students, in maths. Okay, now again I am, I am uh, out these marks are out of 50 and I am representing them in descending order now. So the top marks, one student got 50, another student got 46, then there was 45, then there was 42, and then there was one with 36 marks. So these are the marks of the students uh, out of 50. This is again an ungrouped data, okay? Now, how to calculate the mean of an ungrouped data is that what do we do is that we calculate we say that uh, the formula for this is we calculate the number, uh, the total, uh, we just add all of these and divide them by the number of observations we have. Okay, so that is equal to the formula for it is summation xi upon n. This is the mean. What is xi? This is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. Okay, so add all of these then divide all of these by 5 in this case and for the above data add all of these and divide them by 7 that is the uh, that that is the way to calculate the mean of an ungrouped data now again the calculations are again a bit a bit uh, you know tough they're not actually tough but there are a lot of chances to make mistakes so what you guys do is recheck this question especially the, the, the question on this chapter, recheck this question again once more when you're doing your examination, recheck this question and then submit your paper, okay? Because there are a lot of chances that you will make mistakes in the calculations of this questions, okay? So this is again, what you do is to find out mean, you add all of these and divide them by the number of observations. So that is summation xi upon n. Now I will, uh, more, you will gain more clarity when I'll solve a few questions based on this, okay? Now second is mean of discrete or group data. Now first of all, what is, a, what is group data? I will just make a table over here, a table kind of a thing that will explain you what a group data is, okay? So it is number of students and there are marks obtained. 
okay so now the marks obtained are again out of 50 and first of all we have 50 then we have 48 then we have 46 42 and 36 now these are the five marks and the number of students that obtained 20 50 are 2 these are 4 these are 3 now what are these are the these are the mark the, this is another data which will tell you that this is 2 plus 4 6 plus 6 15 and this is 5 so the total students are 20 i'm just i'm just making them a a, a good number so what is this this kind of data is a group data now how is this group data this means that 50 marks are obtained by two people uh, 48 are obtained by four people 46 are obtained by three people 42 by six people and 36 by five people so now if you were given this data in an ungrouped manner how will you represent this data in the ungrouped manner say you have to arrange this data in the descending order so what you'll have to do is write 50 twice then write 48 four times then write 46 three times then write 42 six times and then write 36 five times and then how do we calculate mean we add all of them and divide them by 2 plus 4 6 plus 3 uh, 6 plus 9 plus 6 15 plus 5 20 add all of these and divide them by 20 this is how we do it right so now we have another way to do it we what do we say is that this over here this section is xi and this section is fi xi and the frequency number of students are also the frequency of students right so this is xi and this is fi so the the formula to calculate the mean of an of a discrete or group data is summation fi xi upon summation fi now what does this mean this means that rather than just writing this data over here and then adding all the numbers what do we do is we multiply this and this this will give us 100 that will add 50 twice right this and this this and this we multiply all of these and then add them and then divide them by summation fi summation fi is the sum of the frequencies now basically it is the same right but the calculations are a little bit less uh, hazardous okay now there is another way to calculate uh, the mean of discrete or group data and that method is called the shortcut method or the deviation method okay now the deviation method how do we calculate uh, the mean by deviation method so what do we do here first of all i'll just write deviation or <coughs> shortcut method okay now deviation or shortcut method what do we do in that there is a term called assumed mean that is represented by a and is called assumed mean now what is this assumed mean is that what you do is that you just assume one mean out of all of these okay now when you assume one mean out of any one of these let's say that the assumed mean is 46 so what do I do is that I subtract 46 from all of these and I calculate di. These all are xi, right? So I calculate di that is xi minus a, right? I assume one mean in that data. Let's say 46 is the mean, assumed mean. Now what I'll calculate is di. Now to calculate di, I'm just writing di over here, okay? Let's say I'm writing di over here. I don't have space uh, below this, so I'm writing di over here. So this is 50 minus 46, 4. 48 minus 46, 2, 0. This is minus 4, and this is minus 10. So this is di. And how do we calculate the mean? Again, there is a very simple formula, and the formula says a plus summation fi di upon summation fi 
So fi di upon fi. Fi di means multiply di with fi. Okay. Multiply di with fi, di with fi, di with fi, di with fi and divide them with 20 again. The addition of all of these. So that is simple, right? So this is the way to calculate uh, mean of a grouped data. Okay. Now why do we follow this step deviation or shortcut method? We follow this method because the calculations in this method are very easy. Of course, to multiply 2 and 50, this gives us 100. Now to multiply 4 and 48, again a very big number, right? So to, instead of doing all of these calculations, what do we do? Is that we multiply 8, 4 with 2. You multiply 2 with 4. You multiply 3 with 0. Or you multiply minus 4 with minus with 6, okay? So all these calculations are going to be very easy as compared to the, uh, the direct method of calculating the mean now the, the the method this method is also called the direct method this is the deviation or a shortcut method right now the third is this topic says mean of group data when the frequency of distribution is given in the form of classes okay now what is this kind of data this is another kind of data and this data says let's say marks obtained Okay, and number of students. Rather than making the table like this, I'm making a table like this. Okay, so what are the marks obtained? Let's say now these marks are again out of 50. So the marks obtained are 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 45 and 45 to 50 now let's say that these are the marks okay and the frequency or the number of students which lie between 25 to 30 are let's say 5 number of students that lie between 30 to 35 are let's say 4 number of students that lie from 35 to 40 are 2 okay this makes it Okay, so the total number of students are again 20. So this is a type of data that has class uh, that has in the form of classes. Now again, there are three ways to calculate mean for this. There is a direct method. Then there is a step deviation method. There are two ways, direct method and the step deviation method, right? So this is deviation method. Step deviation method is a very different method. So what do you do in that method? I will only and only explain it to you by a question. Now in that question, because it is very difficult to explain it like this. So that that question is going to cover, cover both direct method and the step deviation method of uh, calculating mean for the data which has frequency in the form of classes. So you will cover that over there. And this is the basic theory on mean. And now we will be covering a few questions and the questions will give you more clarity on it.